this new Arabic lesson with me. Maha, I'm super, super happy to be back because I've been two months that I was busy holding my courses in the Holy Land and now I'm back filming new lessons for you guys. Uh, one question that I was asked in my Palestinian dialect course is how to uh, easily say what do you want in Palestinian dialect. Today I'm going to teach you how to say what do you want correctly in MSA, Modern Standard Arabic, and in the Palestinian or Shami Levantine dialect in particular. Let's begin. So let's begin with the modern standard Arabic way to say what do you want. Let's begin with question word what. In the standard Arabic we say mada. Mada it means what. Try to say it with me. Mada. Ma. Tongue between your teeth. The. Mada. Mada. We have also another way to say what, but I'm going to tell you the difference, which is only simply ma. Ma. Like. Ma ismuka, what is your name? Ma ismuka, why did we choose to use mada instead of ma, which also by the way means what? Because mada, it also means what, like ma, but mada is used with verbs and ma is used with nouns. As you've seen, ma ismuka, what is your name? Your name is a noun. And mada, you want, you want is a verb, that's why we switched from ma to mana. So this can be also an easy lesson on how to say what <laughs> in Arabic. So, now we decided which kind of what we want. We want that mana. How do we conjugate the verb you want? Or how do you say you want? If I'm walk talking, not walking, I'm talking to a male, I have to say to read. To read. Try to repeat it after me. This is the way we learn languages. To read. Mana. To read. Mada to read. Mada to read. That's how to say what do you want. I'm talking to a male, remember. Mada to read. Mada what? To read. Let's repeat it together the question. Mada to read. Mada to read. If I'm talking with a female, after each verb, present tense, to read, we have to add ina. Hmm? So just to read or whatever present tense verb you add ina. In this lesson, I'm going. I'm, I'll taught you actually how to conjugate a present tense verb between he and she. Hmm? Oh, sorry, between you male and you female, not he and she. <laughs> okay. So, mada to read. What do you want, you male? Mada to read ina. Ina. And the ending. What do you want? I'm talking and referring to you, female. Mada to read. Mada to read ina. Mm? This is literally what do you want? Mada to read? Mada to read Ina? If I'm talking to a lot of people, to you all, what do you want? We add the suffix una. So instead of Ina for you female, we add una for all of you, male and female, it doesn't matter. So, Mada to read una? Mada to read una? What do you want? You understood that we conjugate the verb by changing the ending of the suffix, like the last letters that we add to the verb. That's how we conjugate verbs in Arabic. What do you want talking to a male? Mada to read. What do you want talking to a female? Mada to read una. And what do you all want from me? Mada to read una. Easy. To read, to read una, to read una. This is a perfect example of how to create this sentence or this question. What do you want? in modern standard Arabic, in the Arabic that all Arabs in all Arab countries will understand you. Now if you want to speak in the street, in Palestine, or in Syria, or in Lebanon, or in Jordan, or you speak the Levantine dialect, which is called the Shami dialect, the dialect spoken in these four countries, my dialect, um, we don't use the standard Arabic that I just told you, we would switch to the dialect. In Palestine Arabic or in the Shami dialect, we have two ways also to say what. We have shu, instead of mada or ma, we say just simply shu or esh. Shu and esh both work as what. It depends on if you come from the city or if you come from a village. It's, it's like it, it's understood by all people. I also use both of them in different occasions, not an, in particular for a, a certain reason, but just mix between using shu and esh, which both mean what? Hmm? So you can also simply choose the one that you prefer. 
because there's something called rural and urban Arabic dialect, uh, Palestinian dialect. So it's also like um, understood by everybody, but it changes uh, uh, slightly from city to city. We don't want you to commit suicide, so we will teach you <laughs> for the Levantine dialect in general, which is understood in, by everybody in these four countries. Shu and Aish, it means what? Now, if I want to say you want, you might be shocked that it doesn't uh, seem or look at all like the standard Arabic way to say the verb you want, which was to read. In Palestinian or in Shami dialect, it becomes baddak. Shu baddak. What do you want? Shu baddak. I'm talking to a male. Shu baddak or esh baddak. Use shu or esh, it doesn't matter. Baddak. Uh, to you male. Shu baddak. Shu baddak. Esh baddak. What do you want? If I'm talking to a female, baddak becomes but dick. Some people say big dick. No problem. Big dick or bad dick. It means I'm talking to you female. I'm telling you you want. Shoo big dick. Shoo bad dick. Ash big dick. Ash bad dick. Hmm? So to simplify our lives, I'm talking to a male. Shoo bad duck. What do you want? If I'm talking to a female. Shoo bad dick. Duck. Dick. And if I'm talking to a lot of all of you, what do you want? We say shu bad ku. Huh? We ended with ku. This o, by the way, is a symbol of a plural, masculine plural. But I will tell you, I will explain that in a more grammatical, like in detail in a grammatical lesson. So let's repeat again. Shu bad duck, what do you want? You male. Shu bad dick, what do you want? You female. Shu bad ku, what do all of you want? Shu bad ku. Shu bad duck. Shu bad dick, shu bad ku, esh bad dak, esh bad dick, esh bad ku. And standard Arabic, mada to read, mada to readina, mada to readuna. Choose whatever you prefer from the Arabic language. Mainly choose the MSA, modern standard Arabic, because you will be understood by all Arabs. If you say shu bad dak, shu bad dik, shu bad ku, it will be only like specifically for an area which is called Sham area, Jordan, Lebanon, Syria and Palestine where people will understand you and will speak this way. By the way, many people understand the Palestinian dialect uh, very well, even like Egyptians or Moroccans, they might understand us very well because it's uh, one of the uh, closest dialects. Now I'm going to create a war between Arabs. It's one of the closest and easiest dialects. Uh, in comparison to the MSA, the one that we learn the classical Arabic found in the media and books in Al Quran and etc. So the Shami dialect is very, very well understood by all Arab uh, dialect speakers. Okay? Uh, even though in this lesson I proved the opposite because it doesn't look at all like the sentence Shubaddak and Madaturid, but still it's one of the closest and most similar ones to the standard Arabic that we usually teach to foreigners. Okay, I hope you like this lesson. If you like this kind of lessons, please subscribe to my channel <laughs> and write me below what other vi videos of this kind you want me to teach and I will continue doing them. There are many, many lessons coming your way, by the way. So subscribe to my channel, Learn Arabic with Maha. Please follow me on Instagram. I'm there, active, very, very active, at Maha Yaqub. Uh, and like my Facebook page, Learn Arabic with Maha, one word only, and I will see you in a following MSA Modern Standard Arabic versus Palestinian Dialect course or lesson with me Maha here on YouTube. Ma'asalaamu.